Hi everyone, it's your favorite Senso Tech Jedi Lisa here, and I am so excited to be able to talk to you today about a new feature in our already amazing product, web content filtering. How awesome. I'm so excited. Okay, let's jump right into it. So this is a cloud-based, category-based web content filter system to help keep harmful or inappropriate web URLs and content from devices provided to um, students at their school. Now this comes with 24 pre-built unique content libraries that support over 200 plus languages and it has daily and real-time updating so that these are as accurate as we can be like 99% accuracy in these things so that there uh, any sort of content that's coming in it's being constantly updated now this is different from our current safeguarding feature I have a whole nother video about that so make sure you check that out where I talk about our keyword logging feature and our Microsoft Teams chat feature so let's go ahead and let's go into the dashboard and let me show you how easy this is to set up now you can do this at the top of your tenancy and let it flow down to all of your sites you can be very selective about your sites and also about your groups now if you want to get really granular with it and talk about scheduling or how you can build filter groups so that it will turn off for off-site devices I would suggest talking to our amazing support team and reading our KB articles about that so support.senso.cloud talk to your customer success representative representative, talk to your support, your dedicated support person, and then also make sure to check out our KB articles about that. So I'm going to just put it at the top of my tenancy today because I want it to go out to all of my Chromebooks and my Windows device right here. So I'm going to go into policies. Now you can add this into an existing policy, but I want to build this one from scratch with you guys today. When you're naming them web content filter, I'm very descriptive you would want to make sure that you name your policies things that you are going to know what they are. Web content filter. I don't know what that is. I might change my safeguarding to like keyword safeguarding or keyword logging so I knew the difference. Now when I build policies, and I highly suggest you do this too, I like to build the policy out first and then go in and enable it. So right now the state is enabled because I need to go in and add in the information. So you'll see once I've created it, I have options, edit, copy items, scheduling, and delete. I'm going to go into items. I'm going to select my policy item. And then from type, I'm going to go all the way down to the bottom and select web content filter. Now, here are those categories that I was talking about earlier. Everything from adult content, drugs, games, profanity. Um, you can see a lot of really great unique content categories in there. You can also, uh, if the content filter is unreachable, meaning this web could web content filter is unreachable you can block any request to any website or you can allow it and it will go out to the internet if you have more questions about this please read our KB article to get a, a description of what that is um, that option there now you can select all the categories or you can be very very selective about which ones you want to turn on in this case I'm going to select all of them I'm going to go down to the bottom. Now with any policy, once you click confirm, again, I promise you there's a confirm button right there. It's behind the, the box. You see how it takes just a beat for it to go ahead and apply all that information? Give it some time, just a little bit. It's not very long. Uh, and don't repeatedly click confirm or you're going to have multiple policies and you'll have to go delete to get down to just the one. Now from here, we're going to go up a level and we're going to click edit. And now we're going to enable it that we, that we have built this policy again click confirm wait for just that tiny bit of time and we are ready to rock and roll so let's go ahead over here into thumbnail view I'm going to select all of my devices and launch a site um, let's launch a, a gambling site uh, let's try to do that so I'm going to type in the address as if I was typing that in on these devices and push it out and you'll see it's going to be blocked uh, this is what the screen will look like on Chromebooks and this is what the screen will look like on Windows devices okay guys that is an amazing new feature I highly suggest if you would like to trial this to reach out to your sales representative reach out to the support team or reach out to your customer success person and we will get you uh, all sorted so that you can try this out or add it in to your subscription. All right, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.